Ladies and gentlemen, as I hidden flame, I am back again. I killed the game just for for a reason. Um, I don't want you guys to see anything just yet. Um, just wanted to let you guys know I am still doing recordings of this game. It is a fun game. I want you guys to try and go out and play it if you haven't already. Um, so, yeah. Please know that if there's anything that disturbs you in this game, um, stop watching it. Uh, I don't want anyone to feel upset or hurt by this game. Because there's a lot of difficult topics in this game. First one was suicide. Second one was betrayal. Third one... No, third one was betrayal. Second one was incest related. Uh, let's see, the fourth one, this, uh, was abandonment. Fifth one is loss, so, with pedophilia. Well, any monetization I had on this was gone in the first minute, so let's continue, right? But anyway, if you guys have had any issues with this game, um, feel free to stop watching it, it's fine. But for those who want to continue, here we go. The strange life form we call a creature emerges from the Extend Machine's vat. Shit, that scared me! What the hell is that? Why did a creature just come out of that broken machine? And it looks like it's dying. He's right, the creature looks like it's it'll croak any second now. Looks up at us, uttering something in his wispy voice. face is exactly like mine. What, what is what this? Is that thing? Oh. What the hell? I'm glad. His voice is like a candle waving, wavering in the wind. As it sparkles, a familiar X-shaped light shimmers all around it. Before I know it. Dust. The creature with a face just like mine turns into white sand and disappears. Creature. Is it just me or did it look like Rio? Nah. It looked like him, but that's almost looked like him. That was almost exactly like How can this be? Rio himself? Huh? What? Huh? Nah. Hey, now give me a break. I'm right here, guys. Rio! Show me. <gasps> Show you me. Saika suddenly walks up to me and lifts my shirt. My belly is the same X key. I've already got used to it. No problem. He has an X key. This is the real one. That creature was it for you. Like I said. Of course I'm real. You're such a perv, Sachi's. Uh. I'm not a perv, stupid Rio. Good grief. Good grief. Quit playing around you two. Let's hear what she has to say. Hey. What are you talking about? See? When it comes to clone research, there's only one person turn to, right, Adam? Everyone turns to look at Yuma. She narrows her eyes and begins speaking in her usual tone. Right. Like I said before, I don't know any details of the clone research. 
but after we probed the ship a theory based on documents we found and my own experiences, the theory is further supported that the creature we just saw, the theory, yes. the creatures are exactly human clones and their originals exist somewhere else. Hmm? Hmm, that's... Uh. Didn't huh. think, did Ichio say something like that when we found the machine part on the ship? However... Yes, but that was nothing more than me throwing guesses around. No. They happen to be correct. What? Sure. That creature we just saw was a human clone, too. Ryo Mikajimi. And the original, I presume, is you, Ryo Makajimi. Yuma suddenly points it me out. And I almost stopped breathing in surprise. Come on now. What are you saying, Yuma? That thing was a clone? That's... No. It was your waste, to be more precise. Huh? Again? Don't tell me. Oh, you mean... Oh. Waste? I think I heard that mentioned somewhere before. You know. The documents we found on the Shiro ship? Sin pulls out the documents he mentioned and reads them aloud. However, there is still obstacles to overcome. One of them being the instability, or in other words, highly inefficient fuel point. Currently, generating a single clone also creates several units worth of waste. Waste reduction is necessary for cost and ethic viewpoints, and is the next major issue to resolve. Therefore, to use it on the ship, the flow of waste management must be established first. I see. Waste product by the extended machine, huh? Oh, I'm starting to get the picture too. Yes. That is one of the things which convinced me. Creatures are the waste created when we, the originals, are successfully extended. In other words, they are failed clones. My mouth is hanging open in a triangle, and I can't seem to close it. No way! It can't be true, right? Sure, that thing looked like Rio, but the others didn't look like anything like us. I just think about, just think about uh, Haruto's chief editor, Zen's grandpa, and my Haruki. But... The Bella Moi's boss looked exactly like me. That's because it was your mom. You said it yourself, remember? Right. That was what I thought at the time, yes, but I may have been wrong. And one, and I have one more reason to believe this theory correct. We also found information hinting at why we look different from creatures. Uh. That's right. Creature mutation and emphasizing of memories. Don't tell me. That's the research notes I found? Well, that's what the research notes I found. Creature mutation? Or creature mutation. Changing into changing the body. But changes to the body and behaviors are based on the original's memories. IG, EG. In case of a creature with emphasized memories related to a convenience store, regardless of the original, the creature acted like a store clerk operating a cash register. Key point a creature's individual differences depend on which memories are emphasized. We shouldn't be able to selectively highlight certain memories. No, we should be able to selectively highlight certain memories. Setting stimulating or simulation. Setting and stimulation are key factors. Control over the creatures, aim for selective mutation, clue towards Cleona humans. Regarding as Mani's new point of research. Oh yeah. The notes say certain memories of the original are emphasized, affecting the creature's looks and actions. Okay, I hit the 
They also mention individual differences are decided by which memories are emphasized. So, which with the chief editor feature, it was my own fail clone with a changed appearance by my emphasized memories related to the chief? <laughs> yeah, they should've got us good. So, what they say on Extend TV about Cleone infesting humans and turning into creatures was a lie? No. No, I don't think it was a lie. I'm sure getting infested by Cleone changes their appearance further to look more like monsters, to look more monsters. Hmm. And like the boss we face this time, sometimes there are multiples of the same creature. This can all be explained if the Cleones of us, if the clones of us, this can all be explained if they're clones of us in the first place. For real? No way. That doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Because I heard Hiroki, that creature, said to me, he called me Big Sis Monomo. No. It's not in Monomo. Creatures should only be able to speak words related to our memories or our conquest videos. What? So you noticed, uh, here, Haruto? No. Or like I felt something off since the beginning. Thinking back, the chiefs used only words I heard before, or ones I exp or I remember. For example, Kurogashashi, let's go eat. Yeah. Zen and Monomo, since same occurred with your grandpa and little brother, right? I don't want to think about it, but you may be right. What about you, Real? No. I don't even remember my mother or that manager in the first place. I wouldn't know that if those crocodiles were using words for my memories or not. Find me with this. Damn it, that creature's words won't get out of my head. Sorry, Sorry you're right. Excuse me. Wait a minute. We didn't see any of this waste when we were using the Extend Machine. And if the creatures are byproducts of our cloning, why are, th why are there some in the ruins? Oh yeah! I think I was right. Even if the creatures were my failed clone, no one's ever brought me back to life with the Extend Machine and Chromo Hot Springs. I'm not sure. Maybe the Extend Machines are connected? Oh, no maybes. What craziest little Miss Genius girl talking about now? What do you think? Remember when Monomo lost her police ID and we found it in the ruins? Uh, that's right. It came out of the extend machine in the ruins. And it must have come out of our waist with the creatures. Oh, no. I, j I just can't. I see. So the broken extend machine in the ruins were used as outlets for our waste? Damn it. That must be it. Every time we extend, a creature is born and dumped in one of the ruins. I, th I mean, though I don't know how it works exactly. <laughs> it can't be. That means we, this whole time we've been fighting yes. and killing our own bodies. A never ending penitence like Sisyphus and his boulder. Give me a break. Oh, <laughs> my my. There's no love in any of this. <sighs> if this turns out that we're in hell or purgatory and we're trying to atone for our sins of the past, I won't be surprised. No one says another word as we all head back to Garage Island with heavy steps. The creatures are actually ourselves. We are making these ruins too lightly. We're taking these ruins too lightly this time around. But the truth we found at the end crushed us with the force of all despair of the entire world. 
This is the part of the punishment someone prepared us. Or is this part of the punishment someone prepared for us? If it is, then what do we do? What did we do to deserve it? Wow, this is harsh. I swear this game is getting darker as we go. We all go back to our rooms. My body is dead tired, but I don't feel sleepy at all. Oh yeah, the room changed because I have upgraded it. This is the level 3 room. There is a heavy fact weighing on me aside from my aside from the truth about the creatures. <sighs> my fault, huh? I guess it would be. But my life isn't just my own. I can't simply say, if only I hadn't been born. But although, but although because <gasps> my thoughts are getting all screwed up in my head again, my body feels like it's falling apart too. I guess I have to bind myself. If I fall apart, I'll just need to bind myself together and calm down. <laughs> I start tightly bonding. Binding my body over my clothes. Damn it! Just a bit tighter. To bind is to firmly define the outline of one's body. Every time I bind myself, I get a fresh perspective on the shape of my own being. My heart and mind became perfectly clear, as if I was being reborn again. It is it's a sensation I love, and can only be achieved through the rope. But today, oh. no good. I just can't get it right. It's like myself is pouring out of these openings between the rope. Sheesh. I still wonder, even if even a tiny bit, did she ever love me? I know dwelling on it is not going to be do me any good, but the question repeats in my head, pressing against me like swelling raves. Disturbed by my meandering thoughts, the rope can't seem to take shape. Aww. Man, I wish I could have seen her face at least once. I sigh, undo the rope, and lie on the bed. Rio. Are you free right now? <sighs> Haruto, what do you want? I opened the door to see Haru Haruto standing there with a troubled expression. Um. Well, hmm? what's up? Excuse me. I wanted to speak with you. You said you were fine, but I'm sure you're, you aren't. I know from experience. Hmm. One of those exclusive interviews? Yeah. Something like that. We had some alcohol. But not much we can do about... Wish we had some alcohol, but it's something we can't do about that. We talked about my memories, things can't be... Things I still can't remember. And my thoughts and feelings about them. Just by talking about them out loud, they begin making more sense in my head. Hartu's good at keeping himself from being too emotionally invested. And is a natural at interviews. By the time we finished talking, the storm of confusion inside me seemed to subside. There's one thing I'm sure of. I'm never going to be able to remember my, what my mom looked like. I'm sure I feel self-pity and regret over it countless more times. But still, those are emotions I seem to have lost somewhere along the way. I can't say for certain... I can say with certainty, I regained the part of me that I had lost. Hatred, love, and envy. She and I were connected with a rope made by all these things. Just being able to recognize that is even more, it's just, is more than enough for me. I... Personally, I think your mom tried to protect you at the very end. Facts are nothing more than facts. I think the tr truth is something people draw out from them with their own wills and thoughts. Well, 
This may not be very convincing coming from me. I owe ya. Nah, man, thanks. No. No. I mean, don't mean it. Don't mention it. But I do have something I want to ask you in return. Hmm? All right. Do you think you could tie me up? Huh? Well. It's just as you said. I can't let the past roll over me. So I've decided to try anything and everything to help me get over it. Hmm. Anything, huh? I'm sh not sure I like be it being phrased that way, but I'm a bondage artist through and through. It pumps me knowing he wants to try getting bound to change himself. All right. You got it. Sometimes in life, you don't need words, just a rope. There's nothing. There's nothing to be shy or, or reserved in this world of ropes. You want to get bound? Let's let's get you bound. That's right. Good and thanks. Hmm. It would have been better if he played a bit more coy instead of answering right away so eagerly. I guess I'm starting to get used to this. Yeah. Let's get started with your clothes. Uh, you've you've never been bound before, right? Never. No. And also, just a thought you should know: my body isn't very flexible. Thanks. Got it. Thanks for the heads up. It helps. I nod, then Haruto with. I nod, then I Haruto with the rope hemp in hand. Now, how should I find him? Haruto's got some muscle. But not as much as Zen. Since he thinks of himself as inflexible, maybe I'd bind him so he ends up he ends up in a more open position that would even surprise himself. Oh yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. What? Well, look out! Arthur's face bumps into my arm while we're lost in thought. Hey. Ow! My bad. Here's your glasses. I picked up his glasses and handed them to him. I absentmindedly watch him put him back on. Then suddenly, my vision blurs. What? What did I just? Huh? What's wrong, Rio? Nope. No. N nothing. It's nothing. A memory almost came back to me. But I don't want to remember it. That's for sure. But I don't know what memory it was about. I grab the right tightly again, as if to shake myself free from those lingering thoughts. Where... Where am I? I... Oh, right. School's out already. What should I do today? Guess I'll go meet up with everyone and... That Rinko over there? Hey, stop! Oh god. Nah, I didn't do anything. She's the one you should be thanking. And Sayaka and the others, and is that? <laughs> hey, everyone! Teacher! If you're all about to play a game, I want to join too. Don't leave me hanging, guys. Sachka was killed. Kurosuke killed her. Am I gonna die too? Help! Help me! Haruto, you're okay? No. What am I saying? That was just a dream. I'm still here on Garage Island. Right, Haruto? Haruto? Was that dream? I thought I was finally going to remember my mom's face, but in the end, I had one hell of a bad dream. 
It might be. Am I still shaken up because I saw that creature look like me? But even for a dream, it felt awfully familiar. Could that have been <sighs> part of my memories? I felt a shiver go down my spine. It's still dark outside, and I don't feel like going back to sleep. <sighs> May as well check. The sound of the waves and the crushing under f sand crushing underfoot didn't reach my don't reach my ears. As I silently walk towards the garage, I notice an unexpected figure heading in the same direction. Hmm? Ringo, what are you doing here? I, Rio, I could ask you the same thing. Uh. Oh, I couldn't sleep. I thought I'd play some games before a bit or something. What? You want to play video games after everything we went through? <laughs> you really like them, you know, don't you? You really like them, don't you? You haven't changed a bit since we were kids. Rinko. You smile. Your smile hasn't changed since that day either. <laughs> since that day? The day you became our friend. Oh, wait. Didn't you have a bloody nose that time, though? What? Yeah, you remember? Hmm. I'm getting pieces. I'm getting bits and pieces back. Um. Me too. Though I might remember more if I went into the garage. I had thought the same. She's probably the next one. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Maybe it'd be better to turn around and go back to bed. But before I can do that, Rinka opens her mouth. I think I figured out who killed Sachika. Weird thing is, I'm not a bit surprised. I'm not surprised a bit by her words. And I shouldn't. And I sh no, I shouldn't. But I couldn't help but ask. Is it one of us? Go nods. Yeah, I definitely didn't like where this is going. I'm gonna regret I ever asked. Haruto. Haruto Igarashi is Sachiko's murderer. See, I was right. Oh boy. I had a feeling from the start. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hopefully you will answers.